Hello everyone, Intercity04 here. Today we're going to do a bit of a different video. We are going to be reviewing this. I got this for my birthday uh, a few months ago. It is a LBSC 060T Terrier Class A1X locomotive. Number 41 Piccadilly. Now, I really like this locomotive because I love this class. Um, some people may be like, oh, it's Thomas. No, Thomas is much bigger and has Thomas's extended side tanks. This does not. Anyway, um, let's get it out of the box. Right. I'm going to get open. So I'd, I have already used this, so we'll just pull this information. Inf inflammation? Information slide, it's just a bit of card that just this on it. Don't need that. Right. And then we get the box out and boom. This is a locomotive. Some people may have already seen this. And uh yeah. Some people may have seen this in my videos already, but I think it's about time I did an in-depth review on it, because I really like it. Right. So, uh, history of the, uh, of the Terrier. Right. The Terriers were built for the LBSC. Boom. That's your history, basically. Um, yeah. They're, they're really nice locomotives, quite old actually, like over a hundred years, I'm pretty sure. Um, this is an A1X, there are A1X, there are, there are A1s, uh, I don't know how they differ, I haven't really looked it up that much. Um, but yeah, let's have a really nice close up. Let's, let's pop, her, pop her on the track. I'll give you a really nice close-up. Right, so now we're doing the close-up, if... Yeah, okay, it focused. So, um, it has the improved engine green, which I think is a lovely paint job. Um, it was called improved engine green to get around, uh, the LBSC's thing of everything being green. So the designer was like, yeah, I don't like it being green. Let's make it this colour and call it Improved Engine Green. So uh, it has, I think, their sandboxes with um, the splashes or whatever they're called, something like that. Smoke box, really nice detailing. It had pre-fitted uh, vacuum pipes. It's got the buffers which are higher up than the actual running board. Uh, it's got a die cast metal running board. Um, it has Piccadilly printed on the side of the water tanks. Feel focus. Yeah, Piccadilly written there. It's got some detail on the sandboxes with some writing. Uh, it's got the number 41 uh, on the cab. It's got cab details. You can see inside it. It's really nice detail, this model. Um, the back. It's got the coal bunker. Uh, the Isle of... The ones that um, were on the Isle of One. Sorry about that, I accidentally turned my phone off. Uh, I believe we were talking about uh, the Isle of Wight. How the uh, engine, the terriers on the Isle of Wight, or the Isle of Man, one of the two, um, had um, the co this bit of the coal bunker removed so they were shorter. Um, I don't know why, but yeah. So you can see the... Brake handle there, 
That was in the cab. Uh, it's got the white roof. And the all important red rods. Um, yeah. Alright, now I'm going to set up a little tiny bit of track. Just a little straight. So we can uh, see her running a bit. See you in a sec. Alright, I'm back. And I have connected the track. With power supply now, so I can get her moving. And I shall just slowly get her going, so you can see how slow... Her, you can see her slow speed performance. Bit faster. And then back again. And then back into shot. So yeah, she's a lovely little locomotive. And uh, if you're ever thinking of getting uh, a model train at any point, I recommend. I recommend a lot. They're good. Great slow speeds performance. All right, pulling power. Uh, let's see, does it show what it's classed as? Uh, no, it does not, so I can't tell you how good the performance is. Uh, but it's relatively good, actually. can pull, I think, 12 trucks up an incline, and if you do it fast enough, it might go, like, maybe that fast. But, uh... Yeah, pretty good, um, pretty good price as well. It was fifty four quid. Which ain't bad to be honest, considering uh, the Thomas the Tank engine set I have, which came with a loop of track, uh, and Annie and Clarabel and Thomas was sixty quid. Now that I think about it, this is actually really expensive, but all model trains are like. They just are. Um, Alright then. Uh, I'm about to run out of time. I need to keep this video video relatively short. So this is Intercity 04. Signing out.